Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there was a magic tree. This tree was said to possess incredible powers and was revered by all who knew of its existence. It was said that anyone who could find the tree and gain its favor would be granted any wish they desired. Many had tried to find the magic tree, but none had succeeded. The search for the tree became the stuff of legend, and many people spent their entire lives searching for it. Among those searching was a young man named Jack. One day, while Jack was wandering through a forest, he stumbled upon an old woman. The woman appeared to be lost and asked Jack if he could help her find her way home. Jack agreed, and as they walked together, the woman revealed that she knew of the magic tree's location. The old woman explained that the magic tree was located in a remote part of the forest and was guarded by a fierce dragon. She told Jack that he would need to defeat the dragon to gain access to the tree and that he would also need to bring a special flower as an offering to the tree. The old woman gave Jack a map showing the location of the flower he needed to find. Jack set off on his journey, determined to find the flower and complete his quest. Jack traveled through forests, across rivers, and over mountains, following the map provided by the old woman. After many days of travel, he finally found the flower he was looking for. Jack continued on his journey, and soon he came upon the dragon that guarded the magic tree. The dragon was huge and ferocious, and Jack knew that defeating it would not be easy. Jack drew his sword and charged at the dragon. The dragon breathed fire and swiped at Jack with its massive claws, but Jack was quick and agile, and he managed to dodge the dragon's attacks. Jack soon realized that the dragon had a weakness, it was vulnerable to water. Jack used this knowledge to his advantage and used his water flask to douse the dragon's flames. With the dragon weakened, Jack was able to strike the final blow, defeating the beast and gaining access to the magic tree. Jack approached the magic tree and presented the flower he had collected as an offering. The tree seemed to acknowledge the gift and began to glow with a warm, golden light. Jack closed his eyes and made his wish. He wished for wealth, power, and fame. But as soon as he finished making his wish, he heard a voice in his head. The voice warned Jack that the magic tree was not to be used for personal gain and that his wish would not be granted. The voice told Jack that the tree's power was meant to be used for the greater good, and that only those who were pure of heart would be granted its favor. Jack realized that he had been foolish to think that the magic tree could be used for personal gain. He knew that the voice was right, and that the tree's power should be used to help others. Jack decided that he would use the magic tree's power to help those in need. He left the tree with a renewed sense of purpose and began to travel the world, using the tree's power to heal the sick and feed the hungry. As Jack traveled the world, word of his miracles spread far and wide. People from all over sought him out, hoping to receive his help. Jack became known as the miracle worker, and his fame grew with each passing day. But not everyone was happy with Jack's newfound fame. A jealous ruler saw Jack as a threat to his own power and ordered his soldiers to capture him. Jack was taken prisoner and thrown into a dark dungeon. But even in his captivity, Jack refused to give up his mission to help others. Using his magic powers, Jack was able to escape from his prison cell. He knew that he had to continue his mission to help others 
even if it meant putting himself in danger. Jack soon found himself in the company of a group of rebels who were fighting against the oppressive rule of the jealous ruler. Jack joined forces with the rebels, using his powers to heal their wounded and feed their hungry. The rebellion soon came to a head, and Jack found himself face to face with the jealous ruler himself. In a fierce battle, Jack used his magic powers to defeat the ruler and bring an end to his tyranny. With the old ruler defeated, the rebels turned to Jack and asked him to take his place as their new leader. Jack hesitated at first, but he knew that he could use his power for good as their ruler. Jack became a fair and just ruler, using his magic powers to improve the lives of his people. Under his leadership, the kingdom prospered, and the people lived in peace and prosperity. Years passed, and Jack grew old. But even on his deathbed, he knew that his legacy would live on. The magic tree remained a symbol of hope and compassion, and Jack's story inspired generations of people to use their own powers for good. In time, Jack's story became a legend, told and retold by storytellers throughout the land. His name became synonymous with bravery, compassion, and selflessness. And so, the story of the magic tree and the miracle worker came to an end. But the lessons of the story lived on, inspiring generations to use their own powers for good and to always remember the true purpose of magic.